So welcome back. So this is what I'm moving to do now. The measurements, this is the measurement I'll be using. Can you see this? The shoulder measurements, that's SH, is equal to 17.5. The chest is 43. The sleeve length is 25.5. The ham is 14. And the length of the clit is going to be 42. That's just the measurement I took from here, the shoulder to the length of the outfit. Those, so this is 43 for the chest measurement, which I'm going to like change to the down part of the length itself. So the very first thing you are going to do is this. So I have my fabric here. So this is the fabric I'll be using. And the first thing I'll be doing is to divide, I have my measurements here, the measurements. So I'll just place that aside. So you remember the chest is 43. So the very first thing is I'll be doing is dividing 43 by 4. I'm going to divide the chest by 4. So here I have my 43. Can you see this? I have my 43 to divide it. I don't know calculation now, so I'll just I can't be cracking my brain actually. Do it's going to be like around 11. But for you to get it, that's why I'm trying to divide it. I'll divide it by two first. That's 21 and 21 and half. So 21 and half also divided by two, which will give us. Can you see that? 10 3 quarter. 10 3 quarter. So 10 3 quarter, I'm just going to approximate that to 11 plus 2 inch for the seam, seam allowance. Can you see that? For the inseam allowance, that's 3 inch. That will be 13. So here, I already fold the fabrics into 2. Can you see that? I just fold it into 2. And right here, I'm going to just take my 13 inch. So I have my 13 inch right here. I'm just going to mark that part. I don't want to cut the edge of the fabric itself. So here also, I have the 13 inch. I'm just going to mark it. So the next thing I'm going to cut out now is the length. Note, the length of the fabric, I'm going to add just one inch to it, which is, the length is 42. The length right here is 42. Can you see that? The length is 42. So I'm going to add one inch to that 42. That will be 43 inch. I'm going to mark 43 down here. I'm going to mark 43 at the other side here also. Can you see that? Can you see that? So I'm going to rule this one. I'm going to really have it. And this other one also. Just make a straight mark at the edge of the fabric. I don't want it to be to be obvious. That. So I will just cut it out. Mm -hmm. This part out also. So right here we have our front. Can you see that? We have our front. So to take our back, all we have to do is just to fold, folding our thirteen also. I'm going to fold in our 18 as we did with the previous fronts. I will have to move this one a little bit to the top so that you can see the, the other side of it. I'm going to fold our 18. I will have to measure this. to measure this also so that it's accurate and right 
So to this one, this is the back. What we are going to do to this one is just that we are going to add four inch to it, which will be the bending allowance for the shoulder and the bending allowance at the at the hem of the outfit, which is going to be the bend the like the folding in, which will be two inches plus the two inches for the front. We are going to add both of it to the back here. So here 43 plus 4, that will give us 47. Forty-seven. So I'm going to mark forty-seven here. Mark forty-seven here for the length. Can you see that? So I'm going to mark it. I'm just going to rule that out. So let's make sure this piece is up to thirteen. Just a little bit. So I'm going to cut this out also. So the next thing we are going to do now is to remove the the shoulder so firstly this is the front we cut out before we are going to place it over this one just make sure it is at the same size we are going to place it over each other like this so what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to move the camera closer to what I'm about to do here so just watch closely so here I'm just going to like iron this part in order to have a nice edge can you see that i just want a nice edge i mostly work with uh iron mostly like every time i don't know i work with iron every time also. so the very first thing i'm going to do is just to slant this shoulder by two inch sometimes depending on how the person looks like if the person is the person with uh, a very high shoulder like is into gym and he has a very high somehow i don't know how to put that thing i might make it more than like two and a half but this person is just like a normal person so the slant is just going to be two inch so i'm going to slant it from here and i'm going to cut it out sometimes it might not be up to, it might not be up to that two inch it might be like just around one and a half or sometimes I just do two inch and I have a lot of guys that gym I work for most guys that are into gyming and stuff so I used to make it a little bit longer so at this part this one is done so what I'll just do now is just to take this front can you see this front right here I'm just going to move it to the back I'll place it here at the back can you see that? I make sure they are on both sides, both sides down there. So right here, I have an overlap of the back. So the next thing I'm going to do is just to place just like a, an half inch over, over the back like this. So I'm going to move the camera up so that you can see what I'm about to do. So if you can see closely, this is the front in which we drag back. So I already ironed it. So all I just did is just place this back over the front like this. Can you see that? Just place it over the front like this. So here I'm going to take out the armhole, the shoulder and the neckline. So I want you to pay closer attention to what I'm about to do now. So here is the measurement. Don't forget. We have our our shoulder which is 17.5 so the thing i'm going to do is just to divide 17.5 is equal to it's just like 17 and half that's the shoulder so i'm just going to divide 17.5 by 2 i'll just place this here and i'll just so we have nine three eight three quarter sorry we have eight three quarter 
So I'm just going to add an half inch to this. That will be nine one quarter, which will be for the sewing allowance of like each quarter, 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 quarter like that. So I'm just going to place nine three quarter at the shoulder. As from this place, can you see that? As from this place, I'll place my nine three quarter here. Then I'll mark it here. Also down here, I'll place my nine three quarter then I'll mark it also. I want you to pay close attention to this. So from this top, in order to get your main armhole, that will be the same thing. From here, your shoulder divided by two is your armhole because it will have an extension of about two inches. That will be the same allowance. Can you recall? So here, I'm just going to place my nine, nine one quarter which i divided also here it should be for the ham hole it's not like a universal measurement like that so from here to here i'm going to take my rule i'm going to mark it so that is my ham hole mark so i'm going to cut out the ham hole now but before you cut it i want to take note of this part I'm going to cut this part, I'm going to take it out a little bit, just like this. Can you see that? It's not that much, just like this. So I'm going to take my round from here. Let's take my round from here. It's going to go just like half inch from here. Can you see that? Half inch. It's going to go and join back. To this one over here so i officially have my ham hole right like that next thing is just to cut it out oops Just cut it out. I don't know what's wrong with this. Yeah. So here I cut it out. That's my ham hole. Can you see that? It has to come a little bit out in order to give it shape. And here to cut out the neckline, I mostly use two and a half by four and a half. At this place, I will just mark my two and a half. And for the that's for the width and for the height, I'm going to just mark four and a half can you see that so all i'll just do is just to cough it from right here just cough it down to this part just make it cough like this so so far i make the cough right now all i'm just going to do is this this neck is like 16 inches, but I actually did not measure the neck. I'm not sure I measured the neck, but the neck is supposed to be 16 inches. If you look at this one, I'm just going to use this measurement, but the neck is 16 inches. I recall I measured it, but I don't write it down. So the neck is 16 inches. In order to figure out your main measurements as maybe it is 16 or not, you just have to place your rule, measure it round. So here, can you see that? We have 16 and it's even more than 16, a little bit. So I'm just going to show this. I'm just going to reduce this. Can you see that? So if we measure from here, measure it round. Can you see that? we have our 16 that is 8 plus 8 it's because it's going to be 16 so i'm going to cut out from inside of this place you see that I place it inside of the of the fold and i'm going to cut it out just make an edge around here so i have my I have my neck cut out like that. So here we have our front. 
and we have our back. So now I'm going to cut out this leaf. But here, I'm just cutting out the shoulder in this format because I think this is what most people are onto. That's the way I used to cut my ham hole, but I will do another tutorial on that later. So if you, to cut the, um, the sleeve, the very first thing I will do is just to measure this arm all round. So here I have 12 and here I have as the legs. So to cut out the sleeve, I'm just going to pack this and just cut out the sleeve. So to cut out the sleeve, I already made this fabric face each other. This is the front and this is the back. This is the inner part of the fabric. So the boat's like this. This is two, these two fabrics are here, so I'm just going to fold it over each other like this in order to get two at an instance. So I'm just, remember we calculated 12 and a half round the handhold. So here I'm just going to take out 11 inch. Can you see that? We have 11 inch and the sleeve length is 25.5. The sleeve length is 25.5. And the arm hole is 12.5. So here I cut out 11 inch. So I'm going to measure 25.5, 25 and a half. You see that? Plus 3 inch. I'm going to fold 3 inch inside, which will be 28 and a half. Plus the same allowance, like the sewing of it, which will be 29 in total as for the sleeve. So here I'm going to mark my 29 and here I'm going to mark how we 29 then I will So here, I have the two sleeves right now. So to cut out the ham hole, I will do a specific video on cutting ham hole, which is more than this. But this is mainly one of the main videos that people keep on requesting for. So I'm going to make this, I will zoom in the camera. So this is the edge. So depending on how much you want to cut out this part, in order to avoid all those wrinkling of outfit on the shoulder, I'm going to calculate this as five and a half. Can you see that? So I'm taking five and a half out of the armhole itself. From here, I'm going to make my curve. Yeah, right now I'm not using a uh, armhole curve or whatever you call it. I'm just going to use a straight hand to just make the curve. to do it normal curve like this and actually follow a perfect pattern I just make it go so I'll just cut this out right now I don't know shit sorry So from here, the edge, the mouth, I'm going to just, the round M is actually five inch. So I'm just going to make it six, you see. And the arm is, the arm is 16, which is here. This is the arm. I'm just going to make a straight line from here. Just a curve. Right here. So remember, we measured 12 and a half on the shoulder. 
So if I measure this now, I'm going to have a bit more than 12 and a half. We have 13 inch, so that is fine. You can easily trim that out with the weaving machine after sewing. Don't know what's wrong with my scissors, I will have to get another one though. But as for now, let me just get done with this. Good. So here we have our sleeve. Can you see that? It's a long sleeve. That's how it looks like. Can you see that well? That's how it looks like. 